craziness. But the next 10 and we've got to do the other thing, and that is keep improving our public schools. And not because doors, in the end... I'm David Chen. And I'm Michael Barbaro. And we've been covering the mayor's race between Mayor Bloomberg and Bill Thompson. Uh, I've mainly been hanging out with uh, Mayor Bloomberg. And I've been with Bill Thompson. And so far, we've noticed there are definite differences uh, in the campaigns. Um, uh, Mayor Bloomberg uh, seems to be uh, running it as, uh, as if it were a, a cruise ship, very corporate in, in, in feel. Um, you know, his people are very uh, punctual, if not uh, early. Uh, and we can see that from some of the events that uh, he did this past weekend. Bill Thompson. By contrast, Bill Thompson's events tend to be a little bit more haphazard. On the other hand, Thompson is far less self-conscious than the mayor, and he really takes what life brings him, including a wardrobe malfunction that you can see at the Sikh parade in Queens. And we've got a, a look at an event that was held in a pretty dingy mortgage storefront. And one of the highlights uh, for those of us in the room was a, a copy of a newspaper endorsement for Mike Bloomberg with his smiling face on the front left on a table as Bill Thompson walked in to give a speech. So this is a pretty small crowd, but, but uh, Mr. Thompson did get them revved up with his standard stump speech talking about how the mayor has raised taxes and fees throughout New York City. In the time he's been there, he's trying to get us to forget the fact that rents keep going up. And as he likes to say, hijack democracy by changing the city's term limits law so we can run again. And I, you know, I didn't even mention term limits. <laughs> I didn't even mention the fact that Mike Bloomberg doesn't believe that we should, that our voices should be heard. Now, Mayor Bloomberg has a tendency to talk a lot about his record, and he barely references the election, actually. Um, he talks about bread and butter issues that uh, he clearly is proud of. He talks about crime. He talks about uh, the schools. And as you can see, he went to a church in Queens uh, with a couple of prominent people, Reverend Flake, uh, Mayor Booker of Newark. He talked about gun control, got um, a lot of applause from the crowd. And Corey and I have been working with a bunch of other mayors around the country to try to get guns out of the hands of kids. The mayor has, has, is very comfortable now um, on the stump. He, he has a tendency to, to act as if he were sort of the, uh, the very, very rich uncle. Uh, he talks about uh, personal matters uh, a lot, more than Thompson, I think. Um, he talks about his mother. Uh, my mother always wanted me to be more religious, but I don't think she counted on mosques on Fridays, temples on Saturday, and churches on Sunday. And he always gets a big uh, rise out of every crowd talking about how his mother is turning 101 soon. She's three months away from being 101, and she comes from Jersey, so she remembers. Anyway. What the Thompson campaign lacks in organization and money, they make up for in Moxie. Just look at the signs outside of a church where the mayor is. And when Bill Thompson makes a joke, it's usually not about himself. It's usually at the mayor's expense, and he always gets a big rise out of a joke about the mayor's wealth. A lot of people didn't give me a chance at winning this election. They said, Mike Bloomberg has too much money for you to be able to beat him. I'll tell you, he does have a lot of money. <laughs> well, the mayor has um, a lot of advantages uh, going into the last uh, week or so of the, uh, of the race here. Um, he is uh, a celebrity. He's spent uh, more than anyone else in the history of this uh, country on uh, running for office. Um, and, and he's recognized and is sworn by, by all sorts of people, um, as you can see from this, uh, this clip from the Hindu temple uh, this past weekend. Children and beauty contestants, you know, all in awe of the mayor. Bill Thompson is not a celebrity like Mike Bloomberg, and we can see that in the polls. And he really has his work cut out for him in this last week. And uh, as you can see him trying to rally the troops, uh, he really needs their help. Oh, really? <coughs> the next 10 days are going to determine who the next mayor of the city of New York is, who the next council person is from this district.